With so many trails, open spaces, and parks to choose from in Broomfield, how on earth can you possibly know which are the best? Well, in this video, I'm going to share it with you and breaking it down the top five, and it's coming right up. Hi, I'm Natalie Randall, former teacher turned realtor and real estate strategist, helping you make your move in and to the Denver and North Denver suburbs. If you want to know everything, everything there is to know about living in Denver and the North Denver suburbs, start now by hitting that subscribe button below and make sure to tap on the bell so you're notified anytime there's a new video I've made just for you. Number one on the list is Broomville Community Park, which is located on 2nd and Main. This park has so many amazing amenities to choose from, which is what I love most about this park. There's a baseball field and batting cages, and the park also includes a dual use field for soccer or baseball. Playgrounds are a must in any park and this one checks the box. Included in Broomfield Community Park is tennis courts, a water feature, and the 9-11 Memorial. It even has its very own skate park and beautiful public art. Broomfield Community Park just so happens to be home to the Broomfield Amphitheater as well. McKay Lake Park and Open Lands is such an incredible open space. Obviously it features McKay Lake, but there's also a bike park, playgrounds, and walking trails. The playgrounds have fun names like Beaver's Bend, Tunnel Town, and The Butte. This park in Open Lands is 43 acres and adjacent to Westminster's 126 acre McKay Lake open space in which 62 acres of this is the lake itself. The area originally served as a farm for barley, wheat, and alfalfa that was operated and run by John and Eva David and later passed on to their children and grandchildren. Today, this open space is shared by both the city of Broomfield and Westminster. The third park on our list is Broomfield County Commons Park. Don't even get me started on how incredibly epic this recreational area is. The park has a dog station and dog park, which I absolutely adore. There's a dual use field for soccer and football. Additionally, Broomfield Commons Park is home to the Paul Durda Rec Center and County Commons Cemetery. It has 237 acres of open space and an 80 acre park sports complex. Because the Paul Durda Rec Center is located within the park, many people list the center's amenities as park features as well. So the rec center has an indoor aquatic park, gymnastics center, indoor track, and climbing wall. Anthem Community Park is awesome. The landscaping is breathtaking and incredible. There's the beautiful Sienna Reservoir with mountain views. There's soccer fields, winding trails for riding or walking. Sienna Reservoir does have a fishing dock for catch and release angling. There's also a pergola with benches to sit down and enjoy the views. This park is a total of 94 acres and it includes access to the Broomfield Trail. So we are lumping these two together. It's approximately a three and a half mile loop in and out and there's an epic bike park. Not sure about being able to skate on it, but I did just see a dude head that way with a skateboard. So I'm thinking it's a safe bet. I don't know. Parkside Center Park is our number five favorite park and trails in Broomfield. This trail wraps around the community center and ponds with views of the mountains. The community center is the hub for the Anthem neighborhood. It features the pools and water slide. Additionally, around the trail, you'll bump into tennis, basketball, and sand volleyball courts. Okay, so keep in mind that Parkside Center Park, which is located within the Anthem community, is not technically a public park. I mean, the trails are, you can go on the trails and you can enjoy them. It's just that the community center itself is exclusive to the residents. The rest of the parks, however, that I mentioned in this video are open to the public and you should definitely check them out. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps with like the YouTube algorithms and helps push this video out to other people who are looking for information on parks in Broomfield. And in addition to that, I've got a little tiny gift for you at the very bottom of this video. I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite park in Broomfield is.